Welcome back in. It's a big week for us here at CBS 42. It's Heart Week. And we are teaming up with the American Heart Association to bring you some critical information that could save your life. We begin tonight with CBS 42 news anchor Jamie Langley, who tells us you need to act fast to survive a heart attack. It's silent, it's deadly, and anyone can become the victim of the number one killer in the nation, which is heart disease. I sit down with a cardiologist and a cardiac patient, and we learn just how important knowing the symptoms and acting quickly can be when you survive a heart attack. 64-year-old Aubrey Hill recently suffered a heart attack. Went to my doctor, and they took an EKG and said, well, we're sending you to the emergency room by ambulance. I had a heartbeat of 190. And the ambulance guy says, usually people with this EKG, we don't have a, they don't have a pulse, meaning they're usually not talking. A stent procedure three days later, and Mr. Hill was himself again. He's active and healthy, so suffering a heart attack was a shock for him. Hill says the warning signs for a heart attack were evident, but subtle. Couldn't feel the 190 beats a minute. Why? I don't know. But uh, just the, the night before, the pain, and I was sweating profusely. And so I decided to go. Cardiologist Dr. Jimmy Dodson from Grandview Medical Center says that was the right decision. Because the longer you go, the heart is deprived of oxygen. And so we have certain endovascular techniques that we can do to revascularize the patient. Because when you're having a heart attack, the vessel is occluded, 100% occluded most of the time. And we can go in with balloons and stents and open the artery up and try to get the oxygen back to the heart muscle as soon as we can. Dr. Dotson says action time is crucial when surviving a heart attack. Yeah, so definitely you need to call 911 immediately because, um, you know, as time goes along, you know, that's muscle that could be being damaged. So even if you don't know, it, know it's a heart attack, you need to get to your local um, facility, hospital facility as soon as possible. And that's something that Mr. Hill knows you should not ignore. You, you tend to think, well, it's whatever, it's this, it's nothing serious, it'll go away. But if it doesn't go away after a little while, there's probably something wrong. And at 10 o'clock tonight, we talked to a young woman who also survived a heart attack and learned the signs that can save a life. Don't miss her amazing story on how she defeated the odds. That's tonight at 10 o'clock. In the studio, I'm Jamie Langley, CBS 42 News.